Hello students, welcome to Easy Limu Learning Simplified. I am your teacher, Mr. Stanley Mbogo. So dear students, allow me to take this opportunity to uh, take you through uh, these two areas in study skills, that is the summary writing and uh, note making. So these two, uh, these two areas are uh, uh, very common uh, in uh, uh, paper two, that is when it comes to uh, questions based on passages or the comprehension uh, section. So in most cases, uh, you're normally instructed uh, to, uh, you know, summarize a given paragraph or maybe uh, 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 make some notes uh, on maybe the importance of um, conserving trees, ETC, blah, blah, blah. So let me uh, start by addressing the first area, uh, uh, that is the area under summary writing so right before we look at the steps or the stages uh, in summary writing it is uh, important to get to understand the meaning or uh, what we uh, mean by a summary so a summary is a brief uh, statement or account of uh, some of the main points uh, of something uh, in most cases uh, we are given original text, then we are told to uh, rewrite now using our own words, but you just give account of the of the main ideas within that text. Uh, not everything is uh, written down. So that means that a summary should uh, therefore be written in form of a paragraph mm? or in a continuous prose, uh, uh, unlike in uh, note making where we use uh, the point forms. So a summary is written uh, in, uh, 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 in your own words. You are supposed to write it in your own words. So uh, it uh, brings me to uh, this terminology that we call uh, rewarding or paraphrasing. So you look at the original text and uh, you ensure that you represent the same ideas that are there in the text, but now using uh, words of your own and again a summary contains only the ideas of the original text that is what uh, you must have in mind when uh, doing summary writing so an excellent summary is a summary written to show that you have read and understood something you'll uh, get assignments uh, not even in uh, uh, not even in uh, uh, that is uh, uh, passages alone but you'll get assignments um, all over that ask you to read a certain material and uh, summarize it. Uh, now let us move to uh, the next uh, 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 stage that is uh, uh, important as well, still under summary writing. That is uh, how to produce a summary, or we can talk about steps in summary writing. So uh, we are basically talking about uh, the stages uh, uh, or the, uh, the, the, the uh, different steps that one is supposed to follow to ensure that they come up with a good summary uh, that is they produce a good summary so some of the steps uh, include uh, number one you are supposed to read the material to be summarized and be sure you understand it so you cannot start uh, you know uh, uh, summarizing something that you haven't read uh, uh, the, the, the same case is also uh, uh, you know uh, the, the same also happens when it comes to analyzing a document. You cannot analyze a document that you have not that you have not read. So the first step is to read the material to be uh, summarized and be sure you understand it. So um, this requires that you read and listen keenly to the information. So on the second step, we are told uh, that. Uh, uh, we are supposed to outline the major points. So what do we mean, uh, or what do I mean? Uh, that is uh, by outlining the major points. So here, dear students, you are supposed to identify the main points and write down in note form. So this is one of the steps. Just go for the major points in the original text, note them down somewhere because you will use that note form to now come up with a good summary. So uh, in the third uh, step, write a first draft. 
of the summary without looking at the uh, material. So come up with uh, uh, a, a, you know a, a summary uh, that, that you can do um, you know uh, uh, as a sketch without looking at the original uh, material that uh, you have just uh, read. Then uh, at the fourth uh, step, always use paraphrase when writing a summary. So this is the rewarding that I talked about. To so paraphrase is simply to, to reward. You use, uh, the, 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 there are cases where you can use, uh, uh, you know, simon, uh, synonyms of words. Mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, uh, still to talk about the same, same idea, but now in a different, in a different uh, term. Then at the fifth step, we are told that target your first draft for approximately a quarter the length of the original. And uh, again, uh, remember that uh, as you do this, never put any of your own ideas, opinions, or interpretations into the summary. Remember, you are not supposed to interfere with the original information. You are not supposed to, be, uh, to distort the, or the information that is conveyed in the original text. So even as you paraphrase, just maintain the very, very same ideas that uh, were there in the original text. So this means that, uh, you know, uh, you have to be very careful of your word choice. And uh, lastly, uh, write in prose, not in point form. So a continuous prose is uh, 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 in form of a paragraph. And uh, that is what we have for summary writing. So again, always remember that ideas uh, that uh, are there in your, uh, in your summary should be logical and your grammar must also be uh, correct. So on to the next uh, area. That is not making, not making. So what comes uh, into your mind, uh, dear students, when uh, we talk about uh, not making? What comes into your mind? Sometimes uh, when listening to a speaker, be it a speaker or maybe uh, um, watching uh, uh, documentaries uh, for examples, there are things that maybe you would like to note for future, uh, for future reference. So that is just one of the examples on uh, some of the importance. That is some of the importance of, uh, of, making, of making notes. Now, how do we make notes? That is an interesting question. How do we uh, make notes? But uh, before we look at that, there is something uh, uh, that uh, uh, we don't have here, but uh, I'd like to mention. That is some of the importance. Uh, uh, let's kindly uh, talk about the importance before we move to uh, now the, uh, the procedure or the steps to be taken. So uh, remember I've said that the first uh, importance is that they help us, uh, uh, you know, we can use the recorded uh, uh, materials as uh, uh, reference, as points of reference that is in the future. Then apart from that, uh, we are also told that uh, uh, it is important to, uh, uh, you know, make notes as they will help us, you know, keep the record of whatever has been uh, discussed or said. Then again, uh, making notes always help uh, one to focus and understand the main concepts uh, better. And lastly, it also improves, uh, you know, listening uh, and reading skills. Now, on to the next uh, process uh, in note making. Uh, that is on to the next step. Sorry. How to make notes? How to make notes? How do we make notes? We are told that when making notes, the following tips will come in handy. And uh, the first one is read the material carefully and uh, thoroughly. So you are doing this reading in order to understand the main ideas of the topic. So that is the first uh, step. Then the second step, we are told that underline the key sentences as you read. So underlining uh, the key sentences will help in forming you know, uh, the title. And again, uh, it is also important to uh, go for the points that are uh, relevant. Do not just select everything. Just go for the points that uh, you think are relevant. 
then uh, on the third step we are told that make a rough note of the main points in a logical uh, in a logical sequence and uh, lastly write the final uh, notes so these are some of the things that you are supposed to have in mind uh, that is uh, when making notes so you should have in mind that a note should be short and to the point and that is why we, we only uh, focus on the uh, main ideas and number two contain all the important and relevant information do not leave out any important piece of information uh, in your notes then uh, <clears throat> A good uh, 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 a good note should also have uh, information systematically divided and subdivided. And uh, another thing is that we should have a short title. Avoid long sentences as titles. Remember, we have got uh, the, the 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 standard number of words that a title should have. So ensure that you also look at that. Then. Uh, the, uh, uh, another thing that is also important uh, to uh, note here is that notes must be written in points only. And that is why we have to separate the points uh, whereby each point is uh, 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 presented in its own line. So it is different from summary writing. So remember we say that in summary writing, the summary is presented in a continuous prose or a paragraph form but in note making we stick to the uh, written points only meaning that you identify uh, a main point then you write it separately in its line so again you're also allowed to use uh, you're, you're allowed to use uh, uh, you know uh, asterisk siphons letters of the alphabet romance numbers etc number to number the points and uh, here is an example of not a uh, template and how uh, it is supposed to be done so we have got uh, the part where you're supposed to provide the title and remember just like I said that the title should be lengthy use simple and short uh, words for the title then uh, uh, you can also see uh, that uh, the points are separated uh, 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 where each point is are presented in its own line so uh, we used the letters of the alphabet so uh, a for the first point b for the second point c d for the uh, uh, following uh, you know points and dear students that brings us to the end of this uh, lesson it has been an interactive one and uh, always remember to keep it easy once again i'm your teacher mr stanley Ombogo. until next time bye